everyone. Good morning. So uh, welcome to Newbie Circle. For those of you guys who have no idea who in the world I am, my name is Rachel Wiggum and I am your ambassador diamond leader. So I'm on here with people who I personally enroll. Shout out to y'all. What's up? What's up? But then also people who are on the squad who I did not personally enroll, but I am still your leader. And so this is a special place. Um, this is not replace one-to-one -one meeting. So if you have not had a one-to-one -one with your enroller, um, I, I have it today if you can. Um, the more you connect with your enroller or your upline, um, if your enroller is not engaged, the more that you, you have those one-to-one -one conversations, the more profound, but that does not negate these group spaces. They are so important. Newbie Circle is for people who are typically six months and under um, specifically, but it can bless anyone. Literally, you could be in the business for five years and I promise you Newbie Circle will still bless you. So it's a great space to come and get your cup filled. It's essentially about the mindset. It's about the mindset. It's not about the logistics. Newbie orientation is more about the logistics of the business opposed to Newbie Circle. Newbie Circle is about the mind. The mind, y'all, is 90% of your business. Like, kid you not, the mind is 90% of your business. If you do not have a pen and paper right beside you, you need to go get one. Go get a pen and paper. You need a notebook and you need to start writing down things that are profound to you and the things that are sticking out to you because I promise you, I just like to say the people who write things down, they tend to make more money. How about that? Because they be, they tend to um, take in more things. They tend to process things differently than people who do not write things down. I promise you. This is why I always sitting here always with a pen and paper when I'm in meetings so that I can write down things so that I can process them differently so that I can take them in differently. So if you do not have that, go grab that right now. Your mind is going to determine whether you are successful in this business or not. Okay. And so I love the fact that as we just watched that video by Eric Thomas, that he was talking about your anchor. Why? Because your anchor matters. It's so funny. Um, well, let me tell you guys a little bit about my story. So if you guys don't know my story, I, um, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I started this business as a single mom. Drop a one in the comments if you're a single parent. Just kind of want to get some oversight on single parents. I was a single mom and I had just recently graduated with my master's in professional counseling and received a master's level position and I was still broke. So I was still in a place where I was not financially stable and it did not make sense to me because I'm like, okay, I went to school. I got this degree. I have a master's level position and I'm still not able to pay my bills. That's weird to me. But I was invited to something like this. Now, I have a master's in professional counseling. I love people. I love helping people. I'm working as a children's mental health case manager. Like, I'm like, yes, I'm doing things that I love. I'm serving people. It's what God made me to do. And God invites me to something like this. Now, baby, sales is not, be, I'm not for it. I'm just not, I, I never, never wanted to go into a field of sales. Like, it was just not intriguing to me. I felt like salespeople were so cold, like salespeople didn't really care about people. Like I just hadn't encountered the people who were passionate about the person opposed to the sale. And so I was invited to something. I was invited to a party. I heard about a story about a lady who was making $15,000 a month. Kid you not. She was a nurse practitioner. Her husband was a general manager at a grocery store. They had two kids. She was making $15,000 a month in the business. I'm not talking about her six-figure job. I'm sure as a general manager at a grocery store, he was making almost six figures, right? And I'm sitting here like, okay, if they can make 15000 because that sounded unreal to me, I'm going to be honest, I can make an extra $500 a month serving people by way of it works. What does that mean? Y'all, the products are all natural plant-based, non-GMO. I don't know about you guys, but there were things in our household that I didn't want. What does that mean? My son struggled from asthma and I mean so bad that, and, and I need y'all to talk to me because if you can feel me, I need you to tell me in the comments that you feel me or that your child has uh, something going on and you understand. My son had asthma and I say had, cause I feel like God is like low key delivered. Um, okay. Praise the Lord. But my son had asthma so bad that at least once per year, God is my witness. 
we had to stay in the hospital, not go to the hospital. We had many nights in the emergency room, many, many, many nights in the emergency room, many nights where it was like what I was doing at home just wasn't good enough. I was uncomfortable. I needed to take my baby to the ER in the middle of the night, many nights like that. But then we were admitted. He was actually admitted and had to have round the clock, um, asthma treatments and they had to pump him with steroids like that happened almost once per year y'all and at one point I was working a shift work and if you know what shift work is that means that um you can't leave right you can't leave unless you're relieved of your shift and I remember having this moment where it was like pause I have to ask for permission I'm a single parent I have to ask for permission to go get my son and you can tell me no Y'all that, psh. you can tell me no. I was like, okay, Jesus, it's got to change. Cause I know you didn't give me this kid to not be able to take care of him. Mm -hmm. I know that ain't right. So I'm like, okay, God, I need you to walk me through this. So I'm hearing a story about this lady making $15,000 a month. And I'm like, okay, I, 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 I need that. I do. I, I don't believe in the $15,000 a month. Can I get an amen? Cause I didn't believe it. I did not believe that I could make $15,000 a month. I didn't even know that it was a real thing. Like it wasn't like, come on, is this real? Who makes $15,000 a month through this stuff? The scammers. I don't know. I, I that was just be on it. But I was like, if she makes 15,000, I can make 500. That was it. I was like, if she makes 15,000. I mean, I ain't like weak. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a hustler. I can, I can do a little some, some, I'm already doing hair on the side. Like I can make an extra $500 a month. I can help enough people to make an extra $500 a month. And God said, okay, since you have faith for that, I'm going to show you that in your first month. In my first two weeks, I made $400 in sample cash along with my commission, my first bonus. I made $500 my first month and it works. But I knew God did that to me to show me that he had so much more in store for me. But I'm going to tell y'all, I had faith for the 500. And it's, it, this goes right in alignment with what Eric Thomas said. What do you have faith for? And if you are struggling and you like, I don't even know if I could really make money in this business. I'm going to need you to ask God to touch my unbelief. And I need you to write that down. God, touch my unbelief. Because God did not bring you here to not make no money. He didn't bring you here, you here for that. He came here to bless you, to encourage your faith, to enlarge your territory, to bless other people. I've been doing this for 11 years. I started in 2013. 11 years I've been doing this. And I truly believe that God did not bring here bring me here for me. I believe that. I believe he didn't bring me here. He, he brought me here to bless me, but he didn't bring me here for me. He brought me here because I was bold enough to say yes to this Christian base. Let me tell you about your company. Let me tell you what you signed up for. You signed up for a Christian based debt free. It works. It's debt free. Y'all. We went from debt free in 2009. It works. Owes no money to no man. No money to no man. It's debt free. Family owned business. It's family owned to this day. Mark and Cindy Pentecost own this company. And now it's a sole owner. It used to be a group of people who owned it. Now it's a sole owner. Marcus Cindy Pentecost own it. And they got the heart of Christ. They are submitted to Christ. And we pray, we pray and lift them up. Debt-free family owned faith-based. Why would God do that? God, that's weird. Why would you bring me to a debt-free family owned faith-based company? Okay, so it's faith-based, not for faith, for real. So your products, your products, not it works products, your, when I send messages, I say my cleanse. I'm the owner. You the owner, you own a business now. My products, your products have integrity. There's integrity to the ingredients, y'all. Integrity to the ingredients. We do not put sugar in our products. Sugar is a drug. We do not put artificial artificial things in our products. We don't do it. There's integrity. If there were not integrity to the products, I wouldn't be here. I'm gonna tell y'all that straight up. You sell top tier products. If you ever hear somebody say that the products cost too much, 
that has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you. Our products are not expensive. Put, put, write that down. My products are not expensive. And I'm gonna need you to hear my voice every single time somebody tells you that the products are expensive. No, they're not. No, they're not. For example, I'm gonna give you an example. I'm gonna give you an example. Burn as a Perks member. What is burn? B-R-N, burn. You can go do more research on your own later on your website because you should know what your website is. You should be doing your own training. Nobody should have to provoke you to go train for your business. We're in business for ourselves first, not by ourselves. So you should be so eager to learn about your own business. Do your own learning. But BRN is the natural form of, it can be compared to the to, to the natural to be the natural form of Ozempic. How much is Ozempic? A lot for only one shot. A lot. So much so that people try to get, to lie and manipulate, manip, manipulate, dip to get it approved by their insurance. Right or wrong, facts. And it ain't even good for you sometimes. Sometimes it'd be life saving for some people, but most people aren't using it for what it's used for. Burn is $55 a month. That's it. And it's natural. And not only does it aid in 24-hour fat burn to help people get the, the weight off, but it also helps with hormones. It helps with mood. It helps with blood pressure. It helps with blood sugar. It helps with, it helps with so many things inside of your body. Expensive? Absolutely not. That's not expensive. Now, also, when people tell me that the products are, are, are expensive, I may know that they may need an increase in their life. Not everybody wants an increase. Well, Rachel, make that make sense because everybody wants an increase. No, everybody wants a handout. But the increase I'm talking about is where we work for what we eat. Because that's what the Bible says, right? You say we work. I mean, I'm not saying that God can't bless you. But the Bible says you work for, for you eating. Not everybody wants to do that. And so we offer the opportunity to people. We give. You are a giver. Your job is to give to people. Mm. But despite the fact that you're giving does not mean that you are waiting there to receive back. Oh my God, write, write that down. Because that'll free you. I think what it's so many people when they're first starting this business, you go like a child. You give somebody information and then you wait there in expectation of payment. That's not how this works. We give with the heart of knowing that what you have is the creme de la creme. Your job is to give. How many people can you give today? Give to today. How many people? When I wake up and I'm going through my, my list and I'm doing my job, how many people can I give to today? The harvest is up to Christ. The giving is up to me. If you give to one person, well, baby, that's why you're not harvesting. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you plant one seed. I don't know about y'all, but I garden. I garden. <laughs> I just started a garden this year and I was freaked out. Let me say that. I was so nervous to do it. I don't even know why. But I started a garden this year. And if I planted one seed, y'all, would I have a garden? Can I tell you guys, when I do my starter plants, I start like four seeds, if not like six. I be putting like a sprinkle up in that mud. Because some seeds ain't going to make it. I might sprinkle like six seeds up in that thing and only two sprout. I'd be like, bro, well, thank God I only, I didn't put just one up in that thing because I'd be drove. I would be so salty. I'd be like, and I'd be going there every day, watering them up. It, it ain't going to grow. <laughs> and then I'm pissed. Gardening don't work. 
I'm never gardening again. And another thing that I experienced this year is I had some thriving tomato plants. Thriving, like so beautiful, making Roma tomatoes. I was eating them, harvesting. It was good, organic. And do y'all know that something happened to my soil and killed both of my plants? Does gardening not work? Or do I pull up the dead the dead plants and plant something else? I'm not going to negate gardening just because a plant died. Y'all feel that? Your job is to give. And the way to win in this business is the person who gives the most. Now, let's go over to this anchor situation. Okay? Because this is real. Welcome to the squad, where we are ambassadors for Christ by way of it works. We do have values. If you have not went through our value system and training, I, I highly suggest that you do that along with your enroller. We have very important values here. Why? Because in the midst of these 11 years of being here, God has revealed to me what it looks, looks like to build a legacy for your family and to walk in a spirit of longevity. Longevity. Y'all got four kids, 18, 6, 4, 2, a dog, Sugar, who's eight, and I have a husband of 10 years. I have siblings. I have a mom. I got grandparents. My husband has a mom. He's a dad. He has grandparents. He's got cousins. We've got family. We got life. My husband's a basketball coach, a JV basketball coach for high school. I'm in school for my PhD. I'm a doula. I'm a certified um, a, a childbirth instructor. I don't even, I do hair on the side. I do. I have a faithful clients. I serve the community of mothers who are white with black children. So it's, it's, it's something that is just really on my heart to be able to be that person for that community, especially where I live. I live in a white community. They adopt black children. They don't know how to do their hair. And so the God has called me to that. There are different things that are going on in life. God has called me to It Works Global. He's called me here. And when Eric Thomas says it's not about the money, it's not about the money. But you won't ever get that unless you, you decide what that anchor is and you move forward because God told you so. If God didn't call you here, you won't be here in six months. Sorry. i be a honey with you. If God didn't call you here, you won't be here in six months. Because your anchor, go, your, your lack of an anchor is going to pull you somewhere else. It's good. The lack of an anchor is going to allow somebody to get in your ear and you're going to quit. I, and I'm telling you, the enemy knows what we do here so good. Debt-free, family-owned, Christian-based. Y'all, you, you join the debt-free, family-owned, Christian-based business. So because we're Christian-based, we talk about Jesus and people get to know Jesus here. And there may be some OAS on here that could put facts in the comments. You gonna get to know Jesus here. You stay here long enough. You gonna you have a relationship with Christ. Not not just going to church and all that. You gonna have a relationship with Jesus. People get saved here. People get free here. It's a mission way far beyond the raps, the coffee. The, it, it goes far beyond it. Families get free here because of your freedom. You gonna bless your family financially emotionally spiritually you are going to inspire your family i started this business at 24 years old how am i inspiring my family 24 i'm supposed to be the game changer in my family like what yes and being here is gonna help you do it financially spiritually emotionally mentally inspirationally however you want to say it it's you you're going to be called higher because you're here you're going to be the one who your, your grandparents are moving and they in their 80s and they got eight kids and you the grandchild, you the grandchildren, you and your husband, and you going to be the one that has the finances to move them with movers. Because what the eight children want to do? We pack it up ourselves. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But God is going to bless you so that you can give your grandparents the creme de la creme. 
so you can give them the top tier service. God's going to bless you. God's going to bless you so you can be the one that leads your mom to, to better health. God's going to bless you. You're going to be the one that's so inspired and making so many changes in your life. And it's going to be reinforced and reinstilled. And they're going to be able to see, they're going to look at you and be like, you look, your skin is glowing. Like you look so, you're full of energy. Like what's going on? And you're going to inspire your mom so much so that she's going to get off some of that medication. That she's going to begin to love herself. That she's going to begin to move her body. You, you, that's why you're called here. That's why you're called here. So every day we get up and re we reinforce our anchor. Write this down. My anchor has to be reinforced. My anchor has to be reinforced daily. <laughs> daily. Can I say it again? Daily. You have to reinforce your anchor daily. If you miss a day, okay. Like we are not a place of condemnation. Just dust yourself off and go into day one. Your anchor has to be reinforced daily. How do we reinforce our anchor? Well, we push you to do personal and spiritual development and show up. You need the room. We say either the room needs you or you need the room. I'm gonna say you need the room. I always need the room. Now I may get up in a room and what is the room? Zoom, events, in person, pop-ups, uh, it might be a coffee meetup. I don't know, depending on where you live. We're, we're really about to get out in these streets for real, for real in these next few months. But you need the room or the room needs you. Even the Zoom room. You see somebody put up, I'm, I'm jumping on Zoom and you know you got a minute, you need to get on there. Sometimes it'll be the most profound thing that you need in that day that you'll hear in that room that'll change your life. That'll encourage you. That'll push you forward. That'll make you go talk to that person that you've been afraid to talk to. That'll make you do the post. That'll make you go live. That'll make you talk in your stories. That'll make you load your stories. That'll make you um, surrender to Christ. Like it, it may be anything. I'm telling you, God knows exactly what you need and when you need it. But we have to be active participants in it. You think you're selling products? No, you're selling hope. You're selling freedom. You're selling Christ. You're selling an opportunity to walk in freedom. You're selling peace to somebody. You're, you're giving somebody the opportunity to have peace of mind. Whether in their body or in their finances. And here's the thing, guys, because I, I, I could just hear this. Well, I don't know anything. I just started. I, I haven't made any money yet. I'm going to tell you, none of that matters. None of that matters. It's not you anyway. Your job is what? To give. Y'all, I signed up at somebody's launch party. She had made no money. I heard the story of her upline making 15 stacks a month. And I'm like, all right, it's enough for me, Jesus. <laughs> okay, it's enough, it's enough, it's enough. She quit about four months into the game. What they got to do with me? God bless her. If she want to come back now, I'm here. But I joined because of my why. I got premium gas. To this day, I make sure I put only put premium gas in my car. What's my car? Me. Me. I have premium gas. My gas is my why. If your gas is not premium, your car going to break down because God only intended for you to have premium gas here in this space because of what he's called you to. Your why should, should make you get the bubble guts. Okay, because they say your why make you cry. Okay, if you're not a crier, it should make you get the bubble guts. You should get nervous. You should get nervous. 
Because you're going to start speaking stuff and be like, girl, what? You going to do what? You should you should be looking at yourself like, and, and, and you going to do what? Yeah, I'm sitting here as a single mom. I'm, I'm, I kid you not. I'm sitting here as a single mom. Not now. Back then. A single mom. I'm making dreams of building houses and getting married. I don't got my ring on. Do y'all know the same ring I put on my dream board before I got married when I started this business is the same ring I got? And it wasn't nothing but Jesus because listen, my husband bought a different ring. Y'all listen. He bought a different ring. Is he all here? He can put facts in the comment. He ain't gonna say that. He might say, okay, I did or something. No, no, because my husband interested. He bought a different ring. But I got the ring that I put on my dream board. I begin to start speaking things and say, I, I'm going to have more children. Didn't know something was going on in my body. But because of it works. You're like, what they got to do with the business? My faith, number one, because my anchor daily, my anchor daily, that personal spiritual development, my anchor daily. So the faith for it and the finances, put this, put this down. God is going to give me the faith and the finances. The faith and the finances. Because that's what he did for me. It started with the faith. And the finances came exactly when I needed them. The faith and the finances. The faith and the finances. So when I found out that we were struggling with infertility, I had the finances to get the help that I needed in order to get not one, but we serve a God of overflow, okay? Not one job, but I got three. Not one, but three. Sitting here dreaming about building homes. <laughs> what? Build a home, nobody I know has built a home. My grandma, my grandparents, you know, they were military. They bought a brand new home. And they came in at the end of the construction. So they really didn't get to customize a lot. But nobody I know built a home from the ground up. And here I am saying, I'm going to build a home in Glen Carbon. Like, how? It's it's expensive out here. Like, yeah, right. I'm in this straight up apartment paying $620 a month. What house you build? But God will give you the faith. And the finances, because you're willing to what? Give. And what's that scripture? It says, I'm going to find it for you. Peter said, y'all remember the story? Uh, yeah, the story of, of Peter and um, the lame, the lame guy, right? And he was begging. He was begging. And he was begging. Yeah, I remember that. If not, it's okay. It's found in um, Acts, in Acts 3. And Peter walked by. He was kind of sick of, you know, him begging. <laughs> I feel like that's my rendition. He's sick of him begging. And he was like, I don't got no money. But what I do have, I give to you. He told him to rise up and walk because of his faith. Because of his faith. And I'm going to tell you, as your faith is strengthened, God will give you the finances. Because a lot of times, and I told the leadership about this this morning, a lot of times we are looking for a way out. Is that right? Because most of y'all started for a way out. Me, I did. I did. I needed an extra $500 to pay for private school. Me, actually needed 620 but I was okay with 500 I was like, I could hustle the rest of the 120 for private school. Me. I did. I started for extra 500. I was a single mom. I just needed extra $500 so that I could keep my son in private school. Period. I wasn't worried about the fact that I couldn't fill my gas tank. Okay. It couldn't only filled it on, on payday. I wasn't worried about the fact that, you know, I got big disconnection notices. All I cared about was that extra $500 to keep my son in private school. And because I had faith to believe that even when my business was not producing 
enough to, to, to cover private school, that God had set me up for so much more. And so here I am going through a season in my business where God is working on my heart and I'm making the cash, but not quite the 500 that I need. I'm building my team. I'm helping people, but not the quite the 500 that I need. But I trusted that God brought me here. And so here I am in this faithful place where God is strengthening my faith. He's strengthening my faith. I'm showing up. He's, he's, he's strengthening my anchor because let's be clear. I didn't have one. I didn't have a devotion life before I came to it works. Maybe some of y'all, y'all might be super saved. I didn't have it. I didn't have a devotion life. It was sporadic. It was during the hard seasons. But through this devoted life of strengthening my faith, the finances begin to flow because I was given. I was given to people that, that didn't even care about me giving. I was given to people who well, walked away the next week. I was given to people who told me the products didn't work. I was given to people who turned off their subscription and be lying, talking about, because some if y'all don't know me, sometimes I get my feelings, but the Holy Spirit brings me back. So just bear with me. But I was given to people... <laughs> that was like you didn't tell me about a subscription the devil is a lie i was giving to people who i mean look i was just giving i was just giving giving to people who weren't even on my team giving 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 i was just giving i had a, god changed my heart posture to just give and because of my willingness to give and be faithful the overflow came. The whole, let me tell y'all, the overflow came so fast. And I don't know whose heart I'm encouraging today, but the overflow came so fast. I went from, and it, it happened in stages. I will tell you that. So like I came in, I went Ruby. I got the extra $500 a month. And then I went through a waiting period of, 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 of faithfulness and of God building my faith again. And then I went diamond and, and diamonds making an extra $2,000 a month. And then I got fired from my job and all these things were happening. And I believe that God would called me to do this full time. And I'm like, full time, how I'm a planning a wedding. I'm planning a wedding and I lose my job. And, and you want me to be faithful and keep giving and I need to pay my bills. I'm paying for a wedding. But I was like, I'm down. All right. I surrender. I'm down. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to keep giving. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to keep giving. I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to keep giving. And y'all went through a whole year of that. Went through a whole year of it. Whole year of it. Still giving. Still giving. Still giving. God is making a way because that's the kind of God we serve, though, right? Like, he's making a way. I'm not lacking. I'm lacking nothing in the midst of my giving. And y'all, I feel like it's overnight, but clearly it's not because it was the faithfulness and the giving. It was the seeds. Come on. It was the seeds that I was consistently putting in the ground. Seeds, plural. Seeds that I was putting in the ground. And then it what felt like overnight. Yeah, I went from making $2,000 a month to making 15 to 20. In what felt like, I'll say four weeks. I'm going to say four two really two but i got the paycheck four weeks four weeks four weeks two thousand dollars a month to 15 to 20 so what was my heart posture let me just keep giving let me just keep giving let me just keep being faithful let me build my anchor let me build my anchor because now at this point it's not even about the money and I'm going to need God to direct my path. That's what Eric Thomas said, to tell me what to do with the money. I remember having a conversation with my leadership. And I said, if you started making $20,000 a month tomorrow, what would you do with the money? And the things that your mind goes to, I'm going to tell you 90% of the time is wrong. I'm going to tell you. Some of y'all, God wants to bless you here. You're going to need to start thinking about that. If I'm making $10,000 a month, what would God want me to do with that money? That's the bigger faith. That's him saying, you talk about you want to make $100,000 a month. I mean, $100,000 a year. Sorry, I'm thinking about myself. $100,000 a year. <laughs> $100,000 a year when you really desire more 
or God has, has blessed you, has, has broke your heart in places that you need more, right? Some of y'all sitting on a hundred thousand dollars in debt, a hundred thousand dollars a year is not even really that much money. And you like, girl, it is to me. I'm telling you, it's not really that much money. It's not. Especially as God begins to break your heart for things. God doesn't give you money for you. He don't give it to you for you. You may be the one that's supposed to put 10000 in the building fund every month. God gives seed to the sower. God gives seed to the sower. Now, that don't mean that you might not be able to pay all your mom's medical bills. That you may not be able to put your mom up in a nice house. Because I'm going to tell you, as a witness, my husband and I... By my mom, two cars. My mom, two cars. And his mom, a car. Fully paid for because of it works. So God will give you the desires of your heart. That's in the word. He will give you the desires of your heart. But first, you got to get your desires in order by the faithfulness and by the giving. By the faithfulness and by the giving. So as you make up your mind to be faithful, and to give, I promise you God is going to shake something up inside of you and you're going to show up for more than just you. You're going to show up because you believe that you were meant to make an impact. Your heart posture will change in the midst of your faithfulness, in the midst of you reinforcing that anchor every day. And this squad is going to foster your growth. If you ever, my pastor say this all the time. He said it all the time, this is my girl. If you ever see me going astray, you can go. You should go. You, sh you should literally probably run. <laughs> you can pray for me, but you can go. But my husband and I, we have surrendered our lives to our agenda. Let me just be clear. And I ain't gonna tell you that's the, it It, it feels, it, it, feel, it doesn't feel good, but it feels good. It doesn't feel good, but it feels good. We've surrendered our agenda. And I believe that God has brought you here to change your life. And because your life is going to change, you are going to bless can y'all just imagine when somebody is healed, when somebody is healthy, when somebody is whole, you can't help but bless other people. I signed a customer on yesterday. Let me just walk you guys through this experience and we're going to end. Not yesterday, two days ago, I signed a customer and I was from Instagram, okay? Because I don't really, I be saying I ain't good at Instagram, but God just remind me to watch my mouth, Okay. Signed a customer from Instagram and the interaction that we had back and forth was so pleasant. She came to me for the, the skinny gummies because I've been talking about them a lot. And if y'all don't know, all your new customers and distributors get free skinny gummies today if they're not getting the pick two or not using a code. Okay. The code is SKMY, skinny gummies. And she's like, well, what do you think? Like, do you think that skinny gummies is the best option for me? And so I sent her a voice memo back and I was like, well, what's your goals? Like, what is it that you're focused on? And she told me her goals. She was like, you know, I do love coffee and I'm really trying to slim down my midsection and um, midsection, which typically, which is what the gummies do. They do slim down your midsection. And we had a conversation back and forth. I love flat. I love flat. I do love the gummies. But she asked about my personal journey. I said, well, personally, I do the coffee and I take flat consistently, like pretty inconsistently, consistently, right? But I do love the gummies and they work. Like I, they do work. And then, so I laid out the options to her and and you can use the boards to do this. You can use your website to do this. You can use your upline to do this because we love it. Send a screenshot. Let us teach you. We will help you. I'm I promise. We love to help people close. And if people don't use us as much as you should be using us, so use your upline. Use them, okay? Use them, use them, use them. Let them be pointers and point you in the right direction. I love it, Melinda, yes. Thank you for using me. And so, yes, Sarah. So what I'm telling you guys is we're going back and forth. And do you know, she wrote me back. She said, okay, I'm deciding on the cold brew and the uh, flat. I'm gonna go with the cold brew and the flat. 
And I was like, all right, great. She, she said, and then she, she ended up doing a cart. I don't typically like to send carts, but I babysit them. I, I, and I, what I mean by babysit them is I ensure that they close. I'm like, if you, you go, I'm gonna send you this cart if you're ready to check out right now. Okay. Like almost like it's got an expiration because there's urgency. You always want to have urgency in your business. And so she wrote me back and she said, she sent me a voice memo. She said, I can feel your passion for what you do. You could have easily sold me a bottle of gummies to get the sale. But I appreciate you taking the time to see what I actually needed. That is how you create lifetime customers. Baby, let me give y'all a little Rachel. The back is big. The back is not going to be on big in 30 seconds. They not going to unback they they not going to unbig they back in 24 hours. This is how I create boundaries. Right now, I have messages on my phone. They going to be all right till I get off newbie circle. When you're at work, Guess what? The big back person that hit you up to unback, unbig they back is still going to need they back unbig after you get off work. Did I just free somebody today? The person in your inbox who needs an extra $500, even if they hit the lotto. Okay, maybe not if they hit the lotto, but even if they get to come up and somebody bless them, they still need extra income when you get off work. And what God has for you is for you. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Once interested, always interested. Baby, I'm telling y'all 11 years. And I talked to people 10 years ago who got the big bag and they still got it. Okay. So praise God, 10 years later, they thought of me and how I could help them unbig their back. Okay. So I'm going to free you guys. You are in business. You are a business owner, but your first ministry is your family. And I'm going to always tell you that. And as you stick around with us, as you come to the newbie circles, as you come to the newbie orientations, as you come to the power hours, as you come to the trainings, as you have your one-to-ones with your leader, you are going to learn and implement things that are going to change your life. You are going to be better because of it. You are. You can't help but be around us and get and not get better. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I always wanted to be the mom who made, I remember y'all, I remember I went over to somebody's house that was full-time in the business and she was making her kid, did her kids dinner and her husband dinner at four o'clock. And I was like, where they do that at? I don't even get off till five. And you got dinner prepared at four. Do y'all know what time I typically cook dinner? Noon. <laughs> noon. I'm out here making dinner at noon. God will give you more than you ever expected. You have to have the faith. You have to be willing to give. And you have to reinforce your anchor every single day. Well, I love you guys. I'm about to pray. We're going to get up off of here. If you are within, I, I don't care, everybody. How about you text your enroller and go ahead and set up a time to do a one-to-one -one either today or tomorrow and have that one-to-one -one interaction with your enroller. Um, get your cup filled again and all of that. And of course, if you're watching the recording later, do the same thing. So I love you guys. And I'm going to pray because it's what we do. Okay. It's what we do. And I love you guys. I'm just grateful for you guys to be here. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just love you and we honor you. We appreciate you. God, we thank you for what we get to do here. And God, I thank you for every single new distributor under the sound of my voice. I just pray that they are encouraged and they understand 
that as they get your faith down in their belly, as you touch their unbelief, that special things are going to happen with our willingness to give. So God, give us a heart of gratitude. Give us a, a heart that's willing to give. God, help us to do the uncomfortable things, the things that freak us out, the things that scare us, the, the things that we feel like we don't have the capacity to do. God, you will give us the strength to go as long as we move our feet. So God, give this crew the courage, especially with it being month in, to close like never before, sign their first customer, close their foreign friend and get that $150 bonus, close that promotion, whatever it may be. God, every weapon that's formed against us it will not prosper that's your word and we just seal that and believe that in this moment God every tactic of the enemy it will not work God we love you and we honor you and we appreciate you in Jesus name we pray amen bye guys